Hi everyone, uh, I'm Montasar Ayari. Uh, so this is my first video as numerical modeling engineer. I will explain for beginners uh, the first steps to use Deform 3D in forging simulation. I hope that uh, this video will satisfy you and don't forget to subscribe. First of all, we must restart our uh, software Deform 3D. New problem. We can choose also forming, uh, but uh, we can also choose the uh, deform. Uh, next, we must give a name for our problem, like uh, for example, uh, forging. It doesn't work because we have another file with the same name. We can also rename forging one. Finish. Upset billet between two dies. We have to create uh, our workpiece geometry for us. It will be cylinder with, for example, uh, 15 of diameter and 100 millimeter of high. Create. This is uh, our workpiece, our model of material. Now this material, it is a fine uh, element method. Now we have to create mesh with fine element method. It's all uh, like ANSYS. It's the same uh, situation. We have to propose uh, our number of element but in reality the number must correspond with the density of element with the volume uh, of ma our material and we have to generate mesh now we have to choose uh, our material we can load it from the library for example it will be aluminum for our case we have to define our material for the workpiece and now we have to add top die geometry it will be also cylinder with a diameter 100 and a high with for example 25 millimeter create we have to choose the right position for our top die we must check it so the moment uh, it will be on the z axis minus 25 apply everything is okay the same situation for the bottom die geometry it will be also cylinder with the same dimension like the top die We have to put it in the right position so object uh, plus 100 it's okay now simulation controls the uh, simulation step uh, can choose for example uh, 130 step increment our step increment control process conditions environment temperature it's 20 degrees celsius it's okay Enter object uh, for our uh, case it will be all only friction it will be constant zero point three. Now all the movement on the z axis. We have to choose the speed. The constant value will be fifty millimeter per second. We have to control it. 
oops the other position so plus z everything is fine now so the database is generate everything it's okay and now we have to close now everything is fine we can run the simulation run option simulation is working now we can verify everything with the simulation graphics strain is zero we have to monitor the uh, current step now strain we can check the strain we can erase top die bottom die to close everything is clear for our work piece now the, the simulation graphics uh, can display uh, all parameters like strain, strain rate, stress, velocity, displacement, uh, temperature, damage. We can position our workpiece in the simulation graphic. We can also calculate the distance between the top die and the bottom die it's uh, for now 89 it's working everything is fine we can check again the strain the stress we have the minimum and the maximum damage it's okay is under one temperature is constant uh, environment temperature because we don't consider the head changement or the head transfer and the stress maximum for now is 258 megapascal we can choose the type of uh, display And we have to wait for the end of this simulation. the other stage uh, the results it will be in the post processor 